Hello everyone, today we're back as a homeowner in FS22. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Elm Creek. I got up early to do a few errands here in the town and I thought, hey, while I'm out and about, I was passing by the donut shop here, so I just picked up a dozen donuts for $5. It's a special they do on every Sunday here. Let me know down below what is your favorite, but I got a few chocolate donuts, chocolate frosted with sprinkles, and oh boy, I'm excited to bring them on back here to the house, but we have several projects we gotta get done. So let's hop here in the trail, boss, but hope everyone has been having a pretty good day here so far and let me know how it is down below. I'm really excited to be back here with the homeowner series. We have a lot of projects playing, lots of things happening here at the house today. We uh, really need to get some more bushes planned here. It's been a first uh, week at the house. We've been really liking the house and overall the town as well. I've met a few of the local farmers and also uh, some of just the local business owners. They're all pretty cool, uh, pretty nice people, which is always great to see here. But you guys know I like a big V8 in my truck and this thing though, it goes through a a lot of gas here it's almost like I'm at the gas uh, station every other day but oh boy it's a lot of fun here and hey we might need to get an exhaust for this truck to really open it up to make it sound even better here but oh yeah look at our property although we have really nice looking grass we do need uh, to find a uh, fertilizer hopefully organic that could help us with the weeds here since there is a lot but one thing guys uh, I will say I kind of like this little windy drive where we do have here it just kind of adds uh, to the property and I, I think it is a pretty neat feature here as well so you guys can see we got the nice bar and i think we're gonna keep it without the garage doors on it i just kind of like it and we do have the honda quad here one thing i did order here for it is a hitch for it i think that would be a pretty neat thing here but you guys know it and as you guys see here we need a way to cut the grass so we're gonna work on that but hey let's get to planting some trees planting some bushes and i also want to plant some flowers around the foundation i think it's gonna really spruce up the front of the house and also add some extra color to in flowers they always look good and smell great all right, I'm thinking we're going to place some yellow flowers along the foundation here. That way it does add some color in as well. You can actually see it does hide a little bit of that foundation, which is also pretty cool. And you guys see we do have American flag here, but hopefully a mod comes out soon where we could get a nice big American flag here. I just like having one here at the property as well. And we'll put some flowers alongside here. Oh yeah, that also looks pretty cool. These flowers do look pretty uh, sweet here as well. We'll put a few flowers here at the gate. We don't want too, too many as well. Let's see, let's see, actually, uh, I don't really think. Uh, we'll, put, we'll put a few orange ones here and a few more on this side. I'm thinking I'm going to put some bushes alongside the driveway. Now, we won't go right up to, we'll say, probably five, six feet away here. But I think these bushes would definitely be pretty sweet here. Let's see, we'll do a few more. And I will say, guys, a building tool here. And FS22 is unbelievable here. Really, really do like the feature. Now, let's see if we get, uh, get the trees almost matching side by side. I think that would also look pretty sweet here. Now, I do want a lot of room if we're going to have big trailers like a toy hauler. Hint, hint. I do want to make some more purchases as soon as well that would be pretty sweet we'll get a few more there so we got one more and i think we'll do one more now I have noticed here in Elm Creek, guys, we do get a lot of wind here. So I actually want to put some trees along the property line. And these trees are going to help with the wind. That way we don't get those heavy wind gusts coming over the property. And uh, it's going to give us a little bit of a shield here. Now these trees do cost a lot of money. But hey, I think it's going to be well worth it here. Just going to give more shelter to the property. The flowers and bushes definitely improve the property here. Definitely just makes it even more our style here. But there's one more thing before we're going to go shopping here. And that is, guys, we got a dog in. We need to build a, a dog house here. So let's get it built. And let's uh, say hi and let me show you our new dog. Well, guys, we got the dog house, and here's Diesel. That's our new name for the dog. We just got him a few days ago here. He seems to be really liking the outdoors, which is great to see. Let's give him a bowl of food here. Now, he also does like to play catch, which I am pretty excited for. Oh, look at that. He comes over for a bowl of food here. But, hey, we got to go shopping for a few different things here. One of which, guys, we really need a utility trailer. We need to be able to transport things, especially we need to buy some more furniture, and our truck is just 
that's not big enough tier. Now, the other thing we need to go pick up is a lawnmower. We really, really need to get the lawn mode here. I don't think we could really wait even another week. I think it's going to be too tall. So let's go by the trailer store and then we'll go to a local hardware store. They should have a few lawnmowers. Now, I do know that uh, inventory is a bit low uh, with all the shortages, but hey, we should be able to find something. If you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button. It's much appreciated as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. And I also I recommend you guys go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day some pretty cool uh, sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Alright, I'm pulling into the trailer store here. It looks like they only have one trailer outside. Wow, uh, they are pretty short-handed here on inventory, but it looks to be 18-foot low trail trailer. Let's see what the price tag is on it. Uh, $5,000. That is a bit much here, but these are really good. And hey, the resale value on this is pretty good here. We can not only use this to haul things around, but also uh, any rental machines and a hint into project truck, which would be pretty neat. So I would go make the purchase and we'll get on our way. That backup camera does come in pretty handy here. First time attaching to a trailer in quite some time, but they actually had a sale running on it, so I only paid about 4500 all of a sudden done with taxes, uh, the uh, plates for it, everything like that, which I am pretty excited for here. But let's go around to the hardware stores only. Uh, just a few buildings over as well, and I think uh, just uh, having a utility trailer is the way to go. A truck bed is useful, but you could always need some extra room here and oh wow look at that guys a hardware store does have a lawn tractor here once again they are pretty short-handed here let's see what model this is this is a john deere x uh 748 here whoa this is going to be the perfect size let's see what the price tag is on it uh 1200 let's see how much of this cart is $400. Oh, uh, for $1,600, guys, I'm going to be buying the pair. I think this is a really good pairing here. Wow, this looks pretty sweet here. Why don't we hop on it for just really quickly? Yeah, uh, I think this is going to be the one. So I will go make uh, the purchase inside. I don't think they have a salesman. It's just the cashier that I will go make the purchase. And I think uh, they're, uh, I should be able to drive it up on the uh, trailer. Well, guys, I made the purchase, just putting the ramps up there, but th here we have it. We should also probably put a few straps here on it, but I'm really excited for it. I think this is perfect for us here. Now, it does have a 54-inch deck, and it is gas. I think that's all we really need here. We have about three-quarters of an acre, so probably with this mower, it's probably going to take right around 50 to 60 minutes here, which isn't too bad for a property of our size. Now, I did do a lot of research on which mowers to buy here, and it also does come down to your just local supplier and just uh, where you could buy it as well here. And we are pretty limited here in Elm Creek. There's really only a John Deere and a few hardware stores, but I think having a John Deere dealership in town is actually going to be good. So parts are easy uh, to fix, and hey, if we're too busy, we could always drop it off there. But oh, look at that, guys. Diesel is out and about here. Hopefully, he sees us, and he's walking right in front of the truck. That is not the best thing here but we should be able to go right alongside it i will say guys that is just so cool that they do wander a bit more here i will say back in fs19 they didn't really walk too far from their doghouse and that's just so cool but hey we do need to get uh to moan here and you guys did uh hear me earlier where i was looking to buy a hitch for the atv and i think uh that would be pretty cool to use this trailer for that yeah i think uh, i'm gonna give that a try here uh, sh uh pretty shortly but i do want to get this thing to disconnected and I do want to get this blade dropped here and get to mowing here so let's see let's see let's see we'll get the uh, blade drop there we'll get the blade turned on and let's get to mowing here but I'm probably going to put down the camera do this off camera and you go play some FS22 so until next time guys thanks for watching uh stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more